What is up y'all? I'm Matt Swigum and welcome to my channel Salty Swigs out here in the promised land. Welcome on my boat finally deep dropping. We just hit bottom <sighs> Golden tile today, baby. That's the target y'all stay tuned Yo, just getting some live bait before we head offshore. I'm not necessarily targeting anything with live bait, but we're going offshore. You might as well get some live bait. So today I am using my Tanacom 1000 spooled with 80 pound power pro. I've got a 300 pound mono uh, wind on leader on here. This is a Daiwa um, bent butt rod for deep dropping. I've got a little light, water activated light. All my rigs are 300 pound mono. This is a 10 0 Mustad demon circle hook and we've got everything crimped as you can see all crimped connections five hooks all the way down to a snap swivel if you're wondering what this green stuff is there that is chafing gear and all of these are ball bearing swivels this is a uh, 200 pound ball bearing swivel because I want this to actually be the breaking point if it does get snagged and it has a fish on it I'd rather the hook stays than the weight um, So I can keep the fish and it doesn't sit down there with a five pound lead on its face So um, that is a five pound lead. That was the last thing I was gonna say and that is my deep drop rig. So if y'all are interested in learning how I make uh, these deep drop rigs, please comment down below. Go ahead and like too while you're at it. And uh, 
comment down below that you'd like to see something like that, I can definitely put a video like that together. I hope you all saw that. I was really trying to focus on getting that hit um, on camera. I don't know if I got it, but you saw a lot of tapping, um, but you can see that rod's loading now. Not steady with the waves. It's just every now and then it'll dart down. Um, <clears throat> right there. I hope you all can see that. Now all I'm doing here is uh, taking one of these live cigar minnows I got earlier. I hook them right through the um, bottom of their belly right there. Just like that. And I've got 40 pound wire on here. Uh, and the a small uh, three foot section of 40 pound fluorocarbon, 20 pound uh, mono on this setup. So I like flat lining or free lining baits um, when I'm deep dropping because there is, I mean, you're in an area where there's higher potential to get those pelagic species that are going to come through, um, such as mahi, tuna, wahoo, stuff like that. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. How big is this one? Because it's pretty standard size. Yeah, 18 inches. It's a little small. Standard's about 22, 24 maybe.
Yeah, baby. Show you all this one in the sun. Look at that. They are one of the prettiest fish out there. All right, so what I'm doing here is it just got to the bottom and I like letting a little slack out as soon as it gets down there and then I lock it up and then I wait here for a second to see if anything's on it right away. Kind of lay it down, let them eat it. And then it's kind of tight right now. So what I'll do is just come up on it get it out of the mud see if anything's on it because it's off bottom right now looks like it's getting hit it's getting hit and we're on just like that just like that and we're hooked up baby and we're hooked up. It doesn't always work like that in the YouTube world. Go ahead and like and consider subscribing. Y'all, I'm out here crushing it, as usual. <laughs> Targeting golden tile fish, you know. Fixing to pull another one up. Come on. That's the right one. Yeah, let's talk about these. These are golden tile fish. They live in the mud and they wallow and burrow a little um, like hole almost in the mud and they live there. And when bait or fish come by, they come out and they grab it and eat it. So they live in little holes down there. So they are amazing fish, y'all. They really are. They eat so good. So good. One of the best tasting fish in the ocean right here, hands down. Anyone that's had them or knows will tell you that. So um, they're super cool fish and I just love coming out here and deep dropping for them. Come on, baby. Don't even tell me there's two on there. Double up! Baby! <laughs> yeah! Double! Ah! Let's go! Woo! Come on!
Now that's a productive drop. Let's go. Doubles, yeah! Woo! Good day. Yeah, baby. Come out here to mess them up. Woo! You didn't even get the bait. Got good color. Got good deep color. Dang. Yeah, baby. Tell you what y'all you gotta love catching a fish and not even having to change the bait <laughs> going right back down I'll take little guys all day.
tile. So. so this is pretty much how I clean every fish. Um, you know, I just make that first cut behind the gill plate there. And then I outline the back. And then um, I'll do it on this one. So to make it easier sometimes, if you have thicker fish, you can flip your fish, outline one side, flip it, and then start on the other side because those first cuts are the hardest cuts to make. And when that fish um, has one side of it taken off, it doesn't necessarily sit flat. So uh, to make it easier, sometimes um, you can do that. So got your cuts made, come down follow that um, backbone just ride your knife on the edge of the bones there free the meat now you can see here tile fish have their pin bones start pretty far back um, so the pin bones start about right here, where a lot of other fish will be up here, um, where the rib cage is. So you just pop through those. Slide right over the rib cage. And then when you're getting the bottom loin, you just angle your knife down. Grab that meat. Alright, so the plan with the leftover carcasses um, here is to scrape them with a spoon and then um, we're gonna get all of that leftover meat on the carcass here, and I'm gonna make um, some sushi with it. So y'all stick around for that, because uh, that is right after this. So, what I did was just wipe it off lightly with my hand to get all the scales off, or any scales, you know, that were, that were on there from the filleting process and then I'm just lightly scraping it with a spoon. And if there's not that much, you did a good job. All right, y'all, welcome to the kitchen. We will be cooking spicy tile sushi today. Um, very similar to spicy tuna. First, here are the ingredients. Red wine vinegar, mayo, ground chili paste, which is that one in the middle, and then we've got honey and garlic. Everything you can find in your local grocery store. And all the ingredients will be in the description below along with quantities and everything. So let's start with um, one full jar of mayo. And then we're gonna put in the entire jar of chili paste. Going to add about a head 
to two heads of garlic. I'm going to add a quarter cup of red wine vinegar and a quarter cup of honey and mix it all up. And then probably about a tablespoon of salt. Now um, you're going to take your fish out and go through it and um, pick out the larger pieces and go ahead and chop them up. It doesn't have to be super fine and minced, but you want a decent fine chop on it. Go ahead and add your spicy mayo sauce just so you can coat that fish. You don't want it drenched in it. Um, you just want the fish coated. So now we will be doing our rice cakes. Um, that's probably the first thing that you can start with is go ahead and cook your rice and let it cool off and when you're making your rice cakes here you want to wet your hands before you do it with just regular water and um, then pack those rice cakes nice and tight so they don't fall apart when we're browning them in the pan. Browning them in the pan will be the next step in um, olive oil and just brown both sides. I did a medium to a medium high heat Now we will just assemble our spicy tile sushi biscuits. Start with the um, rice cake on the bottom and then I sprinkle some sesame seed oil on it. And I put some sliced avocado on next. Then I'll put a scoop of our spicy tile sushi garnish which is the seaweed sprinkle some more sauce on and then add the um, sesame seeds at the end and there it is y'all all said and done it was fantastic I hope you enjoyed this type of video catch clean cook was pretty fun I enjoy cooking um, if y'all enjoyed this recipe please smash that like button down below go ahead and consider subscribing i'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway right now check that video out at the end here if you really did like this recipe a lot go and check out clams lovato on instagram he's got a youtube channel also called cooking for clams so go check him out he gave me this idea and the inspiration for it here's that outro y'all Y'all stay salty. Come on. See you next time.